episode 279, I showed where you can direct upload instantly, where you can select an image, it'll get uploaded instantly, and then you can see a preview. And in episode 280, we looked at doing some cropping, but in both of those cases, and there's several more, if I were to change the image to something else, then it would upload and we would see the preview, but that previously uploaded image is not yet associated to a record. It still got uploaded and saved on our database, as we can see if we scroll back through our Rails logs. So this transaction was for the most recent image that we uploaded, and if we scroll up a bit, we got the previous one of the first cat picture. And so the problem comes into play is when we save this record, it creates it successfully, and looking back at the logs where we created the user, we can see where it updates the latest active storage blob with some appropriate metadata, but more importantly, an active storage attachment has been created associating it to that blob. But now at this point, we have some orphan records. And this issue isn't limited to just this direct upload instantly, it can also be found elsewhere within your application if you're using action text and you're uploading images, but you haven't saved that record yet, you navigate away from the page. Now that action text attachment, once you navigate away from the page without saving the changes, has an active storage blob, but it's not really associated to anything, and that could cause some problems. Because these orphan records can grow over time, not only will you be paying more for storage, but it's just adding unnecessary clutter to your database. So in this episode, we're going to have a look at when we select an image, and if we save the image, it'll work as expected. But if we select an image, but then we go back and we don't save our changes, then that active storage blob will get removed from the database, and then we'll also clean up the file that was uploaded. And there will be a small caveat to this, because we are going to be executing this check in a background job we'll look at creating a rate task where you can run this periodically if you don't want it to happen automatically, and we'll also look at creating an automatic solution so that any orphan records are cleaned up in a timely fashion. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? So be sure to check that out and use the promo code RUBY for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.